in this video we are going to see about the uh, logic micro operations when i say logic uh, uh, what are all the things which comes in the uh, this is uh, and or x or x not not all those operations which uh, will come under this so for example see this uh, truth table here we have the boolean functions micro operation you will see the micro operation here clear even clear is also a operation or log micro logical micro operations then and decimal and we are going to do multiplication so a and b so the and and can be represented with this symbol okay uh, because in uh, digital we use the circuit right uh, but here uh, when you are writing uh, even in boolean algebra we have used dot operator but here for micro operations we represent them with this symbol uh, like this okay then here a uh, and b bar then transfer of a that is uh, when we are saying to the function when the data which is present in it is transferred to this then uh, or if you say xr xr is can be represented like this uh, like this we using this operator then r can be separate use can be used to represent like this right then exclusive not with the next or symbol uh, then bar that will be called as ex exclusive not and so, so complement no it can be represented with the bar symbol about so about the uh, register so which means whatever the data in the register b is complemented okay and so on. so logic of micro operation specify the binary operations for strings of bits which are stored in the registers suppose register is r1 is having uh, some data and r2 is having if you want to say xor operations then you have to represent it with this symbol and then after this uh, r1 and uh, r2 or xor they will be stored back in r1 that is the meaning of this under the condition p okay so this is the meaning of this micro operation this equation now So imagine we have the content of R one is one zero one zero and content of R two is one one zero zero. As it is an XOR, what will we get in zero zero zero? Uh, odd number of ones we have one. Okay, here one. In even number of ones, okay, we have zero. Okay, so the content of R one and uh, uh, after doing all these things, this will be stored back in R one. What is the meaning of this? Uh, so R one after. P one P equal to when P equal to when on occurrence of this condition, uh, the data in, in R one register and R two registers are XORed and then it is stored back in R one. Now some of the logical micro operation here already we have seen. They can be represented as see here zero 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 zero, right? Then zero 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 one. So for F one zero zero one. If you see uh, here, all these are uh, For, uh, that is 16 bit can be represented as 16 logical micro operations using this 16 bit combination and how it can be represented x and y variable x can be registered and y will be another register so how it can be done say for example so with this knowledge we'll go here if uh, when you give this arrow mark which means this data is assigned to this uh, function that's the meaning So first f not equal to zero, so here it is zero, right? Then f one equal to x y. How it is? See this statement zero 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 one. So you search for this one. Okay, when you go for this x and y, so multiply x and y, you have a and b. Then f two is having one here. Okay, then x and y dash. That's what here we have that written here. Then for F three here we have two ones here also one here also one so how it can be written F three uh, that is x uh, y dash and x y so when you reduce that you may get the value x okay then for this F four here we have one so x bar and y then b same way. Uh, f five, you have f five here. So again, you uh, when you apply Boolean algebra, you'll be having this five. It is why it is assigned. B is assigned. 
So y is equal to b, and here a is equal to x. X register a equal to a register. So this is the representation. These are all variables. When you say it as Boolean function, you say it as a variables. But when you say it in terms of micro operation, you say in terms of registers. That's why here we call a register and b register. Okay, here they are all variables. Then you have six. You have six is uh, XOR operations. Okay, so what is it? X bar y plus x y bar. It's nothing but our XOR operation. Then f7, f7 is this, x plus y. Okay, then and so on. So you have to see it like that. So all ones here. Then for 14, 14, you say x into y, the whole bar. So, but when you take this respective one, and then uh, you, can, you can reduce the equation, you will be having this equation. Okay, equivalent equation. Now, with four basic logic gates or and x or and not most of the micro operations can be implemented so what are all they so we will see the how the four basic uh, gates or and x or and not can be implemented this is how it can be say this is a four by one multiplexer we have two select lines and four inputs and one output. Here, the first uh, input is connected to an AND gate. Here, OR gate. Here, XOR and uh, complement. That is not, not gate. Now, when uh, lines S0 and S1, when both are zero, uh, whatever you give here, it will be an AND. You will get the output A and B. So for, suppose you give the value. So, for example, for A, 0 and B1 and uh, you give the select line as 0, 0, then you will get the output as 0 because uh, in AND gate 0 into 1, it is 0. Whereas when you give both 1 only, you will get 1. Whereas when you give 0 and 1 for S0, 1 and here 0, here and it, now it behaves like an OR gate. So you will get 1, 1 like this. Then X up here. For this, you will get a zero. When you give this combination for S1 and S0, you will have this, and here you will have one for XOR. And so for complement, it will take only one A value only. So whatever is A, that will be uh, reversed. So that is what we get. We'll say it using a logic set. We'll design, and then we'll change. Yeah. So we will see how to do. This is what the circuit will implement it using logism. So first, let me take a multiplexer, and it is a four by five. So here I have to change two select bits. Data bit is one, single bit. Okay. Now this is connected to this and okay. first. This is the first input. When you keep your cursor there, you can see it is giving input zero, one, two, three. Okay, four inputs are there. Then here. So all these four inputs are connected like this. So, so it's very close. Uh, so the first will be there and okay. The first will be and okay. the second will be or or function. Okay. And then the third will be XOR. And finally, you have this and not gate. So, okay. Now, you have this two lines. 
So this I'll give an input. And here it must be here two select one. So I change this to be two database. Yes. Now you can see the output here using an LED. Okay. Then input. You have to do the input. Now so these two are connected. This is an A and this is B. Okay. Now, now, okay. This is A. A and B, and here it is connected only with the A. This is what our A, right? So this is what we define it as A, and this is what we define. So two bit. Now we'll see how the how it behaves, how the multiplexer, how the arithmetic of that is this logical operations how it behaves. So here we have implemented on AND gate, OR gate, XOR, and NOT gate. So multiplexer. So now we'll see. Uh, already we have seen this uh, select lines. So when both are zero, it behaves like an AND gate. Okay, zero zero here zero zero. These are the select lines. Zero zero. Now you don't have output. You have the output as zero. Now, 0, 1 also you have 0 as an output. So, 1, 0 also you have the output 0. When both are 1, now you have the output. It Now it behaves like an AND gate. Now, suppose I change this to 0, 1. It is nothing but OR gate. So, now when both are 0 only, it's 0. If any of one of the input is 1, you will get an output. See, now it behaves like an OR gate. The same circuit. By changing just the select lines, that is what I would like to show you. By just changing the select lines, it behave differently. Then one one, you have one. That is the uh, output of an OR gate. Now we'll see one and zero, which is nothing but XOR. So when both are one, you know, even once you have an output as zero. So any one of the input is, if there is odd input, you have one. So see here. Now, in both are zero, you have four. Now, I want that complement. Okay. Now, both are one. See here, it is zero. So, you have one. It gives only the uh, reverse, that is complement of A. The B is not connected. So, zero, uh, it is one. When it is one, now it is zero. So, I hope all of you understand how to implement a logic, uh, logic circuit. The hardware implementation to some extent I hope you will be able to follow and this is what I have drawn and I have explained. Okay, now we'll see selective set. What is selective set? So this operation sets bits in register A. Okay, where there are corresponding ones in register B. So it will set bits only when there are corresponding sets in B. It does not affect bit position that have zeros in B. We can use OR gate for this. So for example, this is A and this is B. I want to change only the bit which are uh, having corresponding ones in B. So for example, here, here we have zero. So whatever is there, that will be placed. Here also zero. So whatever is there, because this is an OR operation. Okay. So this is and this is a selective set. For this, we can use the OR. Or gate we can use for the selective set. So zero means there is no change. Here zero means there is no change. It is as such. But when it comes one, it will check what is that. So it find its complement. Actually, uh, it will set the bit, not complement. It will set the bit. So zero is made to one. And here one, but it is already one. So it is as such, right? So after the execution, it will be 
the register A will have this value. So it is used for selectively setting the bits of A. Okay. So wherever we don't want to change the bit of A, there you just send uh, to the corresponding bit. You for in B register you put zero. Now selective complement. This operation complements bit in register A where there are corresponding ones in register B. So wherever there is one, it just complement the respective bit in A will be complemented. It does not affect bit positions that have zeros in B. So now we can use XOR gate for this. So for example, here, zero, zero. This is not affected, okay? It is as such, whatever is present there, whether it is zero or one, that will be uh, written. Okay, here zero, so it will be written as such. But here one, so this is complemented. Zero becomes one now. Here is also one, so this is complemented. So one becomes zero now. So this is the A after. This is called selective complement. But in the previous case, selective set. If that particular here, if you see here, uh, zero is that the previous case. Here zero is that, so it is set. But here already set, so no change. It will be that. Whereas here, both are having one. So uh, whatever is present, it will be complemented. That is the main difference between those two. And for that, we can use R. For this, we use XR. Then selective clear. The notation used is here, like this. So what happened? This operation clears bits in register A to zero. Only when there are corresponding, wherever corresponding ones in there. Here, the respective bits are clear. How we have made respective bit to be one, wherever there are one. Here we are making the respective bit to be zero. Okay, clear. So if you see this, here there is no change, means it is zero. Here there is no change. But here one, it is already zero, so no change. But here it is one. I want to clear the bit in A. So now it is clear means put a zero. So this will be made zero here. This is what collective clear. So instead of the above and operation can be taken here. We have used selective uh, clear. We can use and operation for masking also. So what is meant by mask? The mask operation is also a selective clear operation. The bits of A are made to zero, just like this. Only where there are corresponding zeros in B. Here, what we have seen is one, if the wherever there is one, the respective bits are clear in A. Whereas here, wherever there are zero, the respective, uh, the respective bits in A are clear. See here, it is a reverse of that. So here zero means zero, already zero, so no problem. But here zero, so it checks here one, so it is made zero. Here one, there will be no change. One, there will be no change. Now, we'll see the next operation, insertion operation. This operation inserts a new value. That is, first what it do is, it masks the bit. Then add them with the record value. In the given example, the value to be inserted is 1001 in leftmost bit. Let us imagine we have eight bits. This is register A and register B, which are eight bits. Okay, so before that, we have one zero, one zero, one zero, one zero. Now I want to insert a value, new value. Which value? Uh, I want to insert a new value. To be inserted is one zero zero one in leftmost bit. Okay, uh, see, this is the final answer. This is the original data. After insertion, I want the uh, A to be like this. See here, this is, so this is as such, but the uh, rightmost, uh, sorry, leftmost, I want to insert this value 1001. So for that, we have two steps are there. First, we have to mask the bits. Whichever thing we want to uh, do, we have to mask. So how to do mask like this? So here, you apply 111, for which you don't want to change anything. And for the one which you want to change, for that, you have to enter zero. So that the, since it is an and, this is an, uh, first it is an or and operation. So it will be as such. So here, when you see this, uh, since it is a mask we are using, so wherever is uh, one, it will not affect that value. See here, it will not affect the value. Okay, so it will be copied as such. So, will be copied as such, right? This is an OR operation. 
So now for this, we do the, uh, here we clear this. So what happens actually, wherever one is there, the, uh, the bits, corresponding bits are not affected. But wherever the zeros are there, the respective bits are masked. Okay, they become zero. That is what according to this. So wherever zero is there, what happens? Here zero is there, whatever the data, we make it zero. Wherever one, we don't affect. So this is applied for four bits. The same is applied for eight bits. So wherever is one there, it is as such, but wherever zero is there, the bits, so actually here it is zero, so it is zero. But here zero, so this is masked. Okay, so this we call it as a masking for eight bit. Now, first step is to mask the bit. Whichever bit we want to change or insert a value wherever that we mask the bits. Then the second step, here we insert the value. What is it? How will you insert? You insert this because leftmost bit we want it set. So insert the bit uh, with this mask. 1001111. Now you do the uh, operation or operation. So here what you have, uh, so you will be having the same thing 10010 because again you are masking. Then here you have the same data. Okay. So Here, we apply R for this alone, okay? Not for this. So what happened when you do apply, apply R? One plus zero is one, zero plus zero, zero, zero plus zero, zero, one plus zero, zero, oh, sorry, one. Okay, so this, uh, uh, we don't do any change. We apply the R operation for this. Then clear operation. When the content of A and B are same, and do an XOR, it will clear the A register. Yes, sure. Here 1010 is that, then 1010. Both are having the same value. So if you want to clear the register, say for example, A, A uh, X or B, if you do that, the register A will be clear because after this operation, what is the meaning of this? Uh, do the XR and save the result in A. That is the mean A register. So when you do XR, what happens? 000. zero, zero one one if the any position is one because you are doing the same thing so uh, even you get zero even once you get zero so like this